Welcoming guys to my 2022 map draft. Now, before everybody goes triggered in the comments over my draft, um, I will actually, before that, I will put them in the description box below of this video because I know the last video I did, the last draft I did, I never put the draft picks in um, when I did the draft recap of the NBA. So I will remember this time to actually do that. So, um, my picks are going to be in the description box this time. I am actually going to make sure I do that. I know the last time I didn't, so I'm going to do that. So my first, uh, the first draft pick of this season, um, the Jags get it again. Uh, they get the first draft pick I did last season, last season with Trevor Lawrence this time. My draft pick is Evan Neal, the OT from Alabama. Uh, you can look at a lot of people in that Jags franchise and need, they need a lot of upgrades. And it's a dumpster fire of an organization. But I'm not saying quarterback. They should not go for quarterback in this draft. They need to go for somebody to build around uh, Trevor Lawrence. And in my in my opinion, you've got Evan Neal. He's perfect for the, for the role. Um, and then we have a quarterback here. The second draft pick. I know I've, I've gone second here. Maybe people are going to say Kenny Pickett should have gone second. But I've gone for Matt Corral, um, a quarterback from um, a quarterback for Detroit. Um, I think he'll be. Perfect. The Detroit in this offseason need a franchise quarterback because we all know that Jared Goof, sorry, Jared Goff is not the fucking dude to actually get Detroit back into winning that NFC Championship. Because you look at the NFC Championship, especially with um, the, the Vikings have a new head coach, the Bears have a new head coach. Is Aaron Rodgers going to stay in Green Bay? Or is, Joe, is Jordan Love, is he actually, we're going to we actually see more Jordan Love this season? How is Justin Fields' second year of development going to be? So there's a lot of questions in the NFC North um, division. And you can see, especially from last season with Dan Campbell, how he was, they lost a lot of games, but you can see the mindset was slowly changed throughout the season. And when they beat the Packers, I think they beat, they beat the Packers and they beat um, Seattle and they, they, and they beat the Cardinals. Like, you can see the mindset was changing in Detroit. And in my opinion, they needed... A lot of um, they need a lot of things, but they need a quarterback, a star quarterback that they can actually build around him and do what the Bengals have done and just go for like a young quarterback and build around him and maybe not next season but the season after they're ready for NF they're ready for the winning the NFC chat NFC North and then going to maybe a potentially a Super Bowl and, and contending in that way. So I'm going for Matt Corral. To go to the um, lines. My third pick is um, Convoy um, Trasboy. Um, I think that's how you say his name. Convoy. Um, I've said that he goes to Houston. Um, you know, kind of like uh, Detroit. Houston are our dumpster fire as well. because But they have Lovey Smith. Who remember, this is the same Lovey Smith that. Got a Bears into a Super Bowl with with Rexy, sexy Rexy as a quarterback. So this guy, you know, Lovey Smith can actually do some stuff in Houston. But this is where I'm going, gone for on this one. And then I've gone for number four, Kenny Pickett. Now a lot of people will say, oh, he should have got it too. But I'm saying at four, Kenny Pickett from Pittsburgh is a quarterback. My pick is. I look at the Panthers and they really need a franchise quarterback. Sam Donald is not should not be your starting quarterback. He's not the fucking dude in Carolina to actually carry you guys to contending for a Super Bowl again. Same with um, Cam Newton. He's not the fucking dude. Um, the guy is Kenny Pickett. Um, he's the guy that you can build a franchise around. He's a way better quarterback than Sam Donald. And then at number five, um, I've gone for Kyle Hamilton, um, the safety from um, Notre Dame. Now, when I did the scout report, I was going to say he was going to go to Philly, but I looked at the Super Bowl. When I watched the Super Bowl, I think he'll be. I think he'll be better suited to the to the Bengals. I think it's perfect to what the Bengals need. They need a safety for Joe Burrow. If you looked at that game of the Super Bowl, Joe Burrow was getting so exposed. He got. Um, Sacked seven times in the game, so they really in this offseason need to get a safety, and they got a ton of cap space to do it anyway. So Kyle Hamilton has to go to the Bengals. I'm going to say he goes to 
Philly, but I'm going to say, I'm going to change it on this one. I'm going to say he goes to the Bengals. I know I said in the scout report he goes to Philly, but yeah. Um, then another one I'm going to talk about is David Ajobi, which I did a scout report on him like a few days ago. Um, and he's a offensive linebacker. Um, offensive linebacker from Michigan State. And for him, I pick that he goes to... I think that he goes to the Giants. Um, the Giants. Same with the Jags. The the, the Giants have Zach uh, Zach Wilson. They need to build around Zach Wilson. Um, start going so um, defensive and go offensive. Like you've got your defense, but start working on your offensive game. And um, you'll have David Ajoby. He'll be great. I think he'll be good there in uh, New York. Then a couple of other people that I had, um, real quick, Devin Lloyd that I did another scout report on. Um, I picked him for the, uh, for Philly. They need a linebacker in Philly, um, so that's a no-brainer at, at that point. Um, in in this draft as well, I didn't put Malik Willis in this draft. Um, so, so, put that in mind. Like I had him for Pittsburgh, so if I was gonna add him into this draft, I would have said. Um, him for Pittsburgh as well. They need a quarterback as well after Big, big Ben is um, tired. But on the other hand, you've got Garrett Wilson. I had the wide receiver to go to. I had him be drafted to the New Orleans. Um, and then other people on this list, I had um, Pittsburgh. I also that they get Malik Willis. But if they didn't get Malik Willis, they could get um, Desmond, uh, Desmond Ryder from uh, Cincinnati, and then um, then there's Jermaine Johnson that I had to go to NY uh, to the Giants. He's an edge from um, Florida State. So there's a couple of things that I had. I'm not going through every single draft pick that I said. The draft. Um, all the drafts will be in the comments of this video anyway, so on the description box of this video, so remember guys to read the com the description of this video, so before I, because that will give me more of an explanation, uh, especially why I put these guys in the draft. Anyway guys, leave you guys thoughts on my mock draft in the comments below, it's my first ever mock draft I've ever done, um, so leave you guys thoughts, well my first NFL mock draft, leave you guys thoughts in the comments, and peace.